All right, so I saw this in Tesco today, and it's uh, a Thatcher's, I don't know what you would call it, a bottle and glass set, or whatever. Um, so you've got Thatcher's Vintage, um, Somerset Cider, 2020, and Thatcher's Cater. And you've got this really nice looking glass as well. I think it cost about £8 altogether. Um, I was looking in the section, in the booze section in Tesco, where they've got like things like this way you've got like bottles and like a glass in a, uh, a cardboard box and I was thinking you know something it's like like my display cabinet that I've got glasses in it's completely full I don't really have any more room in there for another glass but I really like the way this one looks and um, you know these these two bottles they sound they seem like they'd be quite nice so I ended up buying it and uh, yeah, both these bottles are quite strong actually. I think they're about 7.4% or something. So there's the side of it. You've got a nice picture there of the uh, the countryside. Crafted over four generations. And there's the other side. You've got some apples there. And here's the back. So you've got like a map there. Below that. like a description. Thatcher's commitment to quality starts in our stunning Somerset orchards. Harvesting the best quality apples allows our cider makers to craft the tastiest ciders. So you've got Thatcher's vintage there, 7.4. Thatcher's cater, 7.4. And it's got a description for each one. So yeah, I think the glass is, is really nice looking. I'm going to have to try and make some space in my display cabinet somehow so, pull this out. so I did actually open this uh, box up before to put the bottles into the fridge so they're nice and cold so let's, let's uh, pull them out let's pull the glass out first actually So let's take a look at this glass. It's a, it's a nice looking glass actually. Family cider makers since 1904. Thatcher's Somerset Myrtle Farm. Crafted over four generations. I think that maybe that means it's a pint glass. I don't know. Oh that's really nice. You've got like this uh, etched apple head. Doesn't seem to be showing up that well through the viewfinder, um, so I'm not sure if it's going to show up that well in the video, but that looks really nice. And then on the bottom, you've got Thatcher's 1904 Somerset Cider. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's see, which shall I try first? Um, I'll try this one first. Thatcher's K. A medium dry Somerset cider. And there's the back. So it's made from the Kate apple. It's fragrant, medium dry cider with a refreshing sparkle and a crisp finish. Let's try this out. That looks really clear. Usually ciders they kind of look yellow. Um, it's kind of looking a bit yellow in the glass but like looking at it pouring out of the bottle it looks really really clear. Getting quite a loud fizz coming from it. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll be able to see the the apple on the back better, or maybe not. Actually, it's, it's more difficult to see. I'm thinking if 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 the drink was darker, then it would probably be more easier 
to uh, to see. But yeah, let's try this out, shall we? It smells very nice. It's got a very light, a very light kind of slightly fragrant apple smell. Kind of very refreshing. Let's uh, let's give it a try. And the taste it pretty much reflects the aroma. It's light, it's kind of slightly fragrant, it's slightly apple-y. It's a really nice cider, it doesn't taste that strong, usually, because like 7.4, that's quite strong. Um, I know at least with like beer, if you've got a beer that's like say 7.4 or more, it has quite a strong kind of treacly flavour, whereas this, it's got a very very light flavour. I'm actually going to give that a 10 out of 10. It's really, really nice. Alright, so I'm going to drink the rest of this and then I'll try out this one. Alright, so let's take a look at this Thatcher's Vintage. Pick of the year 2020, mature character. 7.4. So it's talking about William Thatcher began making Somerset Cider in uh, 1904, which was quite a long time ago. Uh, his craftsmanship has been poured into the unique character of Thatcher's vintage. Bittersweet, matured for a fuller flavour. Timeless medium dry cider. Deep in flavour yet light in colour. The richness of Thatcher's vintage is rounded off with a satisfyingly crisp sparkle. Alright, let's crack this open. So this one is looking a bit darker than the other one. It's looking... No, the other one it looks quite clear. Whereas this one, it's, uh, it's looking pretty orange. And so like, because of the darker colour it's like showing up like uh, the writing and stuff on the glass a lot better. I quite like how on the A they made like the shape of an apple. So you've got the apple there with the uh, with the leaf. And that the fizziness is making quite a lot of noise. So not really sure if the apple on the back is uh, standing out more. But there you go. It kind of um kind of looks like wood grain. Alright, so let's try this. It's not really much to say really, it just it just tastes like a regular cider to be honest. It, it's um sorry about that, but uh my camera ran out of space so I had to delete some old videos that were on the camera. But um yeah, so this this uh it just tastes like a regular cider um, it's got it's got a stronger flavor than than that one it's quite nice um, what would I give it out of 10 I'll give it a 9 out of 10 it's uh, it's pretty damn good so yeah that is pretty much it thanks for watching Thank you.